In the ever-evolving landscape of electric motors, the axial flux motor has emerged as a compelling and efficient alternative. In this exploration, we're going to show you all the intricacies of this motor, as well as a deep dive into its working principles, applications, and advantages. Stay tuned right to the end, as we'll then draw comparisons to other motors in the electric propulsion realm, highlighting distinctive features and which motors may take over the EV industry. So, when it comes to the axial flux motor, let's break it down. At its heart, this motor operates on the principle of magnetic fields. It consists of two primary parts, the stators and the rotor. The stators are stationary components and, in this context, stationary coils that generate a magnetic field. Between them sits a rotor equipped with magnets that respond to these magnetic fields. When electricity flows through the stator coils, it creates a magnetic field that interacts with the magnets on the rotor. This interaction induces a force, resulting in the rotor's rotation. What sets the axial flux motor apart? Well, it's the design. Unlike traditional radial motors, the axial flux motor flaunts a flat, disc-shaped structure. This not only makes it more compact, but also enhances its power-to-weight ratio, a crucial factor for electric vehicles aiming for optimal performance. Now, let's talk about the benefits. The flat design means reduced inertia making the axial flux motor more responsive. It can change speeds and directions swiftly, a feature that comes in handy when you need that instantaneous surge of power in an electric vehicle. And what about keeping cool under pressure? The axial flux motor has a natural advantage. That flat design allows for efficient heat dissipation, ensuring the motor doesn't break a sweat, even during demanding tasks. Maintenance, I hear you say. Well, the axial flux motor might just win the prize for simplicity. Its accessible design means less hassle when it comes to servicing and repairs. No hidden corners, just straightforward engineering. Now I know you might have heard us say radial counterpart and thought, well, what the hell is that? Unlike your run-of-the-mill motors, the radial motor has its own unique spin on things, quite literally. Here we have the three musketeers back again, the stator, rotor, and housing. These are the building blocks of a radial motor. And again, let's start with the stator. The stator is the immovable force in this dynamic dance. It houses coils of wire, and when the electricity flows through these coils, the magic happens. Sorry, magnetism happens. Well, same thing. Now onto the rotor. This guy spins like there's no tomorrow. It's armed with magnets, and as the magnetic field from the stator sweeps over, it's forced to follow suit. This interaction is what gives us that satisfying hum of a motor in action. But wait, there's a crucial third member, the housing. This is the unsung hero that keeps everything in check. It houses the stator and rotor, ensuring they maintain the right distance and alignment. What's truly mesmerizing is the synchronization between the stator and rotor. As the magnetic field shifts, the rotor obediently follows, creating a continuous dance of attraction and repulsion. Now, you might be wondering, what's the point of all this intricate choreography? Well, radial motors are workhorses. They power everything from household appliances to industrial machinery. Efficient, reliable, and versatile. Qualities you want in your motor. They really do bring a lot to the table. They deliver high torque thanks to their unique design. Their compact nature makes them fit snugly in various applications, and they're known for their reliability. They're the unsung heroes of the mechanical world. But what's better, radial or axial? I hear you shout from your screen. As we've established, radial and axial flux motors are two different designs of electric motors, and they differ primarily in the arrangement of their components and the path of magnetic flux within the motor. So let's explore the key differences between the two. Magnetic flux path 
Radial motor. In a radial motor, also known as an outrunner motor, the magnetic flux travels radially from the center of the motor to the outer edge. The rotor, the rotating part of the motor, surrounds the stator, the stationary part, and the interaction of magnetic fields generates motion. Axial flux motor. In an axial flux motor, the magnetic flux travels parallel to the motor shaft, flowing from the center to the periphery, or vice versa. The motor has a pancake-like design with a disc-shaped rotor sandwiched between two stator discs. Rotor-stator configuration Radial motor The rotor of a radial motor typically consists of permanent magnets arranged radially on the outer edge, and the stator is in the center. As the rotor spins, it generates torque. Axial flux motor In an axial flux motor, the rotor is a thin, flat disc with magnets on its surfaces, and the stator consists of coils arranged around the rotor. This flat configuration is often referred to as a pancake design. Size and weight Radial motor Radial motors are often larger and heavier due to their outward extending rotor design. Axial flux motor Axial flux motors are generally more compact and lighter, making them suitable for applications where space and weight are critical factors. Cooling efficiency Radial motor. The outward design of radial motors allows for effective air cooling, as the spinning rotor facilitates airflow. Axial flux motor. Axial flux motors may require additional cooling mechanisms due to their compact design, especially if used in high performance applications. Applications. Radial motor. Radial motors are commonly used in various applications, including electric vehicles, robotics, and industrial machinery. Axial flux motor. Axial flux motors are suitable for applications where a compact design is essential, such as electric bikes, drones, and small electric vehicles. Determining which motor design, either radial or axial, is quote unquote better really depends on the specific application, requirements, and priorities. Radial motors have a proven design, can generate very high torque at low speeds, and are simpler in their construction. However, they're quite weighty, lose their efficiency at high speeds, and may start to exhibit cogging torque, which leads to variations during rotations. This is great for more commercial use vehicles, where you may need to operate at lower speeds and have a high power to weight ratio, like semi trucks. Axial flux motors are quite simply the reverse. They have lightweight designs, are fantastic at high speeds, and have much better heat dissipation. However, their design is slightly more complex, has less proven applications, and integrating certain components, such as cooling systems, can be more challenging due to the flattened designs. These motors are therefore gaining much more popularity in EVs due to their compact design and high speed efficiency. Neither motor is universally better. The choice really depends on the specific uses of the motor. Engineers and designers carefully consider factors such as torque, speed, size, weight, and efficiency to determine the most suitable motor for a particular use case. In conclusion, the axial flux motor isn't just a marvel of design, it's a testament to efficiency and adaptability in the electric motor landscape. As we push towards cleaner and more sustainable technologies, innovations like these pave the way for a greener future and could be significant for the EV market. And there you have it, a crash course on the axial flux motor. What do you think of this motor? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And to help out the channel, please like and subscribe. See you next time.